What's going on? Wanted to throw up a video, this is Folks Mario Fitness, on my blood blasting bicep workout, rather than just typing it out. It's a two part circuit, first part being arms, second part being, or excuse me, first part being the bicep and the forearm, and the second part really hitting your tricep. This workout is going to hit the peak here. This is what I've really been trying to work at, because having size is one thing, but having the definition to go along with that is the second part. And it's really going to get here, and then you're going to hit your tricep, the different heads of your tricep too. Because a lot of people just do standard motions, and you're only going to work that one, that one head. So the, the first part is a little bit different version of a standard curl, keeping your uh, inside of your forearm and hand, uh, if you're holding the dumbbells like this, and uh, this would be standard for isolated, then you have standard for just normal curls. Holding them at your side and turning them. What this is going to do is hold the dumbbells at your side with the outside of your fist uh, facing forward, and you're just going to go one by one. You're just going to turn it all the way, nice and slow, working the, the negatives, the decline, because then you're constantly under pressure. You're putting your muscle to recruit the extra fibers longer, and you're really, really going to tear them down a lot faster if you if you do this with at least 15 to 20 seconds in between. It's more of a high pace uh, set, but you're going to be supersetting one exercise to the next, going back and forth. So you're going to do four sets of 20, and that, like I said, you're just going to have your forearms, uh, the the outside of your fist facing forward. You're going to turn it all the way up nice and slow, making sure that you keep your back straight. You can keep your feet shoulder width, or sometimes I like to keep them bent for extra support for my back and for my arms. I don't like to see people weaving, but if you need to, sometimes with heavier weights you can uh, do more of like a, a bouncing motion, very slow to kind of give you that, but just uh, you're going to keep your legs bent, keep your arms out at your side, and then just go one by one, making sure that you fully Extend your arm all the way down, kind of, I guess locking out your your elbow, and then going all the way back up and just switching. And that's all you're going to do, four sets of 20. And if you go slow enough on the incline, the decline, positive and the negative, from your ready, your start position, to your ending position, you're really going to feel it. You're going to feel it majorly, or as a majority, right here in the front of your bicep. And if you haven't done this sort of workout before, you're really going to feel it, and you may need to stretch in between sets. Like I said, 15 to 20 seconds in between. After you finish those, you're going to go to your second exercise. For your second exercise, you're going to need a bench that can uh, change positions, going from a flat to an incline decline. What you're going to want to do is maybe put it on like a 4 or a 5, maybe even higher. So you're on a slight incline. You're going to take your dumbbell. I usually use 25 to 30 pounds for the fact that this workout doesn't, you don't need heavy weights. If you try to go heavy, like I know some people will try to, you're, you're going to drop it down if you do this properly. If you do this properly, you're only going to need 25 to 30 pounds um, or at least half of what you normally curl and, and you're really going to feel it. You're going to fully extend your arm all the way over. Your armpit should be on the top of the bench and you're going to drape your arm over, like I said, somewhat locking out your, your uh, elbow just so you know it's fully extended, all the way down. Try to keep one leg swung around, depending on what uh, arm you're using. For, for this example, I'm using my right arm, so I'm going to use my right leg. It's going to be around the bench, and I'm going to fully extend it down. You can use this arm on the top of the bench as support. Put it wherever you want uh, to support yourself, and you're just going to go all the way up and all the way down, nice and slow, fully flexing your muscle the entire time. Like I said, that's going to constantly put your arm and, and your bicep, at least for this exercise, in uh, contracted. So you're, you're constantly working it rather than, you know, going, going like this because you're, you're not really recruiting the muscle fibers and fully hitting your muscle itself. If you're doing it nice and fast, you're not going to see the results you want. It's the nice slow movements. That's the whole purpose of this uh, 
routine for, for today what I eat. Um, and then, like I said, just switch, left arm, fully extend it down, lock out the elbow, fully extend it. Uh, dumbbell should be uh, facing with your whole arm, should be facing forward. The inside of it, at least, should be facing uh, in front of you. Left leg, right uh, left arm. And then you're just going to put this arm wherever you want it, on the bench, wherever, and you're just going to go nice and slow. Like the previous exercise, you're going to go four sets of 20, or sometimes what I like to do is I'll do one set of my modified curls and then one set of this, and I'll give myself 15 to 20 seconds in between. You may need more because of the difficulty of this and, 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 and the amount of, uh, I guess, uh, the amount that you exert, you're like the muscle is being exerted a lot more than usual, so you may feel the need to take a little bit longer of a break. Make sure you're always staying hydrated. Key part to muscle, guys, is, is H2O, is water. So make sure you constantly keep fueling yourself. You're 70, you're 70 to 80 percent water. Make sure that you're constantly keeping yourself hydrated throughout the day and throughout your workouts. Always have water with you, and always keep drinking. Those are the first two exercises. There's a third. The third is you're going to be sitting down on the bench. You're going to keep your legs uh, somewhat in just like a normal seated position and take your dumbbell, like I said in the last two, fully extended. Place your elbow on the inside of your knee and you're going to just go all the way up and all the way down and then switch sides. Four sets of 20, guys. Fully extend, fully flex the entire time on the, on the positives and the negatives and you're going to feel it. And you'll know if you're doing it correctly if you're feeling it. And if you're not feeling it, you're either going too fast, you either don't have proper position, because form's key, guys. Always have proper form. If you don't have proper form, drop the weight down. Because having higher weight and terrible form, you're either going to injure yourself or you're not going to be uh, exerting your muscle and getting the results you guys want. And you're, you're wasting your time in the gym if you're not really fully hitting your muscles. Because if you want to go anabolic, you want to make sure that while you're anabolic, your muscles completely torn down. Always change it up. Never want to plateau. Keep changing what your muscle feels, what it's used to. If it's used to the same old, same old, change it up. And then just switch arms. Left, left, right, right. Make sure your elbow is just placed on the inner part of your knee or thigh, should I say, and nice and slow. Make sure you breathe. Breathe as you go up, and as you go down, just release it. Some people in the gym you may find stupid going shh. Well, what they're doing is they're reoxidizing their muscles, and it's, and it's, and it's crucial if you really want to get that, that one last rep. So push yourself, four sets of 20, guys. And you guys can go one, two, and three, one, two, and three, four times, or whatever you guys want to do, but those are the three exercises. Now the second part to this is your tricep. Now your tricep, for me at least, I didn't used to work on. But since I've been uh, training, or I was training for my competition, I really needed to work on them. And so I've taken a couple of different variations and, and exercises that I know really hit it and, and drop the weight down and go strictly on form. The first is going to require one of the, uh, the, the multi-positioning, uh, I guess, the, the, the metal suspension, and you can change the different heights with different adapters on the end. It just has a hook and you can uh, attach whatever you want on it. You're just going to need a handle. So what that handle is going to be uh, used for is put it um, on maybe a 7 or a 6. And you're going to go fully with your right, right leg, whichever arm you're using, always step out with that leg. Go back a little bit. Maybe step back 2-3 steps from the, uh, the actual uh, machine itself. Fully extend your arm out. Fully extend it all the way back. Just like this. And you're, and you're really going to feel it. And, and the, the key to this one, and with any exercise, is go past the normal range of motion. So if you usually stop right here, your muscle's flexed. But if you push it past that, you're really hitting that muscle. You're keeping it fully contracted. You're really hitting the muscle, and you'll feel it. Always use the mirror as your guide to know if you're really hitting that muscle, because you'll see yourself flexing that muscle. Go past that normal range, 
and then just go all the way forward, nice and slow, making sure you breathe. You're going to do four sets of 20 on that, switch arms, obviously. Then what you want to do is you're going to grab the, the, uh, the two cables or ropes. They usually have handles on the sides. For this, there's two parts to using this rope. The first one, people do the, the pull-downs, the rope pull-downs, and I see people doing it incorrectly. Make sure that your elbows are always in, closest to your body. You're really going to feel it that way. But this is a little bit modified from the standard. You're going to grab it and step back, so you're kind of holding it on a, uh, on a vertical. And you're going to go in more of a diagonal fashion. You're going you're gonna to thrust it down towards yourself, so it's like this. Fully extend all the way past your hips. Make sure you're fully flexing, nice and slow, on the incline and the decline. And you're really going to feel it in that tricep. And, and, and just flex it out. As soon as you hit here, flex it out, nice and slow. Then you're going to grab it and do over the head. So you're going to grab it, pull it over your head, step out a little bit. If you're on the side, the side view, step out a little bit, go all the way back, grab it, keep it somewhat together, and then just pull it apart right at the end. Just grab it, pull it apart, flex it out. Slowly go back together, go behind your head, pull it out, breathe. Flex it out. You're really going to hit it with just those three exercises. You're going to feel it if you do four sets of 20 on each. Now, you guys can give this one a shot. Let me know. Give me some feedback on this workout. And let me know what you guys think. Peace.